Last year, Jeff came to camp to test a new twin strike and came up big on just day two. And this year, he's back with another brand new bow, the TAC-2. Been here before, I'm locking the door, hide away the key. And even though the guides were set up on a great buck this year, would not be quite so quick. had a field each fall, and for many, for many, this is the goal, the dream. There's a reason that a big mature whitetail is the most sought after game animal in the world and the hardest to get. We live our lives hoping for an encounter with them, documenting them. We teach our children so they can share the appreciation and carry on the tradition. You put the time in, the work, the practice, and live the lifestyle just to spend time in the woods with these incredible animals. Then we're no different. We had a field with the millions of others each fall, hoping that when it's all over, we can share the story of a legend. It's awesome to get to hunt these deer every Absolutely. year, follow these deer for years like this and pick sheds off them. And gorgeous, gorgeous deer. Stealth Cam presents Canadian Whitetail, brought to you by Ozonix, undetectable, undeniable, new archery products, hunt with confidence, monster meal, attraction, nutrition, results, Muddy, serious gear for serious hunters. Excalibur crossbow, different for a reason. Glendale 3D targets, the biggest and toughest 3D targets in the world. Hunter specialties, serious hunting tools. Boyd's hardwood gun stocks, better with Boyd's. Nocturnal lighted knocks, switch on accuracy and let it glow. Heater bodysuit, number one in cold weather hunting gear. Raculator, score your trophy fast, easy and accurate. Central Boiler Outdoor Wood Furnaces and by Stealth Cam. Proven reliability, proven quality, proven performance. This week, our good friend Jeff Baker from Excalibur Crossbow is making the trip up to our Canadian Whitetail Outfitters camp to hunt. Now, last year, Jeff came up and hunted with us to try out their brand new crossbow before it was released and came up big on just his second day hunting. Jeff's target buck, a heavy 5x5 five five with junky bases, had made an appearance on just day two of Jeff's first trip to Saskatchewan. This is, uh, this is an awesome first deer for me from, uh, from Saskatchewan, so. First hunt with that crossbow ever, hey? Yep, yep, the first animal taken. Thank you, thanks for everything. It's great. And this year, Jeff was back testing another new bow, the TAC-2, and looking for his second northern Saskatchewan whitetail. After ensuring that everything was lined up, Jeff hits the lodge to get settled in, catch up with friends, and enjoy the evening before day one of his hunt. And while trying to add photos to our walls, the guides have been busy prepping for the upcoming hunt.
putting in upwards of 50 setups a year, the guide certainly covers some ground. It's work that's never done, but that's beyond rewarding with every client's smile after a successful hunt. And through their travels, the deer that the guides had found that we were hoping Jeff would get a look at was a huge bodied old 5x5 with one odd kinked beam, a bruiser of a buck, and it was almost time with just one evening left to relax before day one of Jeff's hunt. This segment has been brought to you by The Raculator, the only electronic scoring tool in the world. Built for all antler game, The Raculator guides you step by step to score your trophy fast, easy, and accurate. Available only at raculator.com. This segment has been brought to you by Nocturnal Lighted Knox. String activated, simple, switch on accuracy, and let it glow. Nocturnal Lighted Knox. Heading out day one with so much anticipation to head to a new spot to get settled into your heater bodysuit so that when the sun rises and you get your first day to look at your surroundings, you're ready. And when the sun does rise, just stand against the bustle with deer coming and going, this young buck being the first to make an appearance. A young lopsided buck arrives looking for a date, but not having much luck. When Jeff looks up and sees this heavy up and comer making his way, gorgeous deer with nothing but potential, but as he walks off and evening sets in, Jeff would not have an encounter with the target buck or any big strangers, and he heads back to the lodge for a hot meal, some cold drinks, and to share in the stories of the day's hunts from other hunters in camp. Welcome to this week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment. Locate, learn, set up, hunt. Brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Nothing is going to have an impact more on the quality of the deer that you hunt than the health of the deer in the area that you hunt, and that's something that we can have a significant impact on. From urban areas to some of the wildest places, white-tailed deer inhabit many environments, some harsher than others. And the most crucial time of year for a deer's health is late fall, through those harsh winter months until spring greenup. And the further north you live, the worse the climate, and the more of an impact that time of year is going to have on those deer. Here in Canada, that time of year can be devastating. We have seen mass winter kill in the harshest of years. That harsh weather, though, is why Canadian deer are so robust and large. They must be in hopes of survival. 
Though there are things we can do to help them through that toughest part of the year. A big part of that being supplemental feeding. Providing the deer with ample, quality feed designed for deer health is going to effectively reduce winter stress on the deer, increase survival, and even provide us with bigger bucks to hunt. That's right, bigger bucks. You can't grow a big buck from nothing, but a healthier deer will grow a bigger rack every time. And a healthier doe will provide more and more nutritious milk for her fawns in the spring. Another thing to keep in mind is to try to keep undue stress off the deer. We all love shed hunting, but invading bedding areas in the dead of winter can chase and cause undue worry on the deer. And the last thing we want to do is add to all the things the deer is facing that is threatening their survival this time of year. Those sheds and key areas will still be there in the spring when conditions improve. Keeping those deer as well fed and stress free as possible through those harsh winter months will only ensure and increase the quality of your hunting. This week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment has been brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Create your own muddy moment. This segment is brought to you by AAE. Innovation and integrity is in our blood. Quality and dependability is in our products. Day two, a new day full of anticipation and Jeff's up early to a hearty breakfast from Miss Carly before starting his day's hunt. Well, it's day two here at uh, camp with uh, Canadian Whitetail Outfitters and uh, I'm excited to get back in the stand again. We had a good day yesterday. We saw some good deer, a few bucks, a nice, uh, nice 10 point. Uh, but uh, just not quite what we were looking for yet, and hopefully today the, uh, the big guys will show up. And they do show up at some point, and at this stage of the hunt it's all about time, as it could happen at any moment, though today the first deer was this young buck. With time being key, it's all day sits and we rely heavily on our heater bodysuits and the sub-zero temperatures to keep hunters on stand and comfortable to put that time in. And we provide each hunter with an ozonics unit to use to ensure that those all day sits go undetected not to burn the spot out if the hunt may take several days. Again, many deer, but no shooters. Today we close with Jeff headed back to the lodge, anxious to return tomorrow. Uh, it's morning number three here in uh, Saskatchewan. It's a nice cool morning again. Uh, we had another good sit yesterday. Uh, saw four or five new bucks, uh, just still not that one that we were looking for. Um, optimistic today though that, uh, that we'll get a chance to see them and, and uh, hopefully be able to put one down today. A treat to get to watch these deer so close and undetected. Today the deer are falling by Jeff ensuring no downtime, no naps, and he even gets a little show from a couple of young rival bucks. After an enjoyable day three, still no sightings of a mature buck, but that can change at any second. And Jeff heads back to the lodge for an evening's rest, hoping that that time comes tomorrow. Another beautiful Saskatchewan morning, though today, even the first year of the day, are watching to Jeff's left, often. More deer appear from the left, but they too watch something that Jeff can't see. 
Then this young buck arrives, maybe the focus for their attention, though doubtful. As morning fades into the afternoon, this young buck too watches left, nervously. Jeff looks over again, and the deer begin to part ways, making room, and that usually means one thing, that the boss is coming. And Jeff's big-bodied mature 10 steps out. Jeff knows this time of year he may stay or he may be gone in a flash and gets ready. This segment of Canadian Whitetail has been brought to you by Glendale, the only 3D target with a replaceable four-sided core. Glendale, the biggest and toughest 3D targets in the universe. Canadian Whitetail has also been brought to you by Block Archery Targets, the world's number one archery target. Halo Optics, premium rangefinders. Tacticam, share your hunt. The Buck Bomb, natural and synthetic lures. Hawk, hunt from above or attack from the ground. AAE, quality and dependability in all our products. Black Eagle Arrows, superior carbon technology. And by Cyclops Lights. Get out of the dark. This segment of Canadian Whitetail has been brought to you by Boyd's Hardwood Gunstocks, the world's largest manufacturer of aftermarket hardwood and laminate stocks. Boyd's offers stocks for over 1,200 firearm models, so you can make every gun better with Boyd's. On day four of Jeff's hunt, the deer panicked to make room, and the buck that Jeff was hoping to get a look at stepped out. Deciding to take the buck, Jeff slides his heater bodysuit off and settles in for his shot. Rusty and I headed over to congratulate Jeff and help celebrate his deer, a moment that we share sharing with all hunters that visit us at camp. It's, uh, it was day four of our hunt here in uh, Saskatchewan with the Canadian Whitetail Outfitters. Uh, it was a really uh, exciting day in the blind. Um, there was uh, plenty of deer, lots of bucks chasing does this morning. Um, and uh, it was right around noon when this guy came in. The Twin Strike Tac 2, we made a really good shot on him. He ran about 40 or 50 yards and, and piled up. Jeff. Thanks, Dean. Appreciate it. Year, hey? Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. You hunted, I think, about 10 hours last year? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, day and a half is all it took last year, and this year was a little longer. It was a great, uh, a great hunt. Saw lots of deer, and uh, uh, it's only uh, what you expect when you when you come to a place like this. Well, two for two. Maybe we'll get you back next year and see 
we go three for three. No, I'd love it. But if you went second day, fourth day, <laughs> we need to book you in for six next year. <laughs> Congratulations again, he's beautiful here. Thanks, team. The best part about our North Camp is the people we meet, the friends we make, and the quality of deer doesn't hurt either. Completely unpressured natural deer in one of the most gorgeous natural settings a whitetail can live. For all of us that work at camp, it's quickly become our favorite place, our home away from home. And for 2022, we have a brand new South Camp that I'm sure in time will feel just the same. Congratulations, Jeff, on an absolutely beautiful deer, and I can't wait for next year. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Canadian Whitetail. This segment is brought to you by Wild Edge, makers of the ultimate climbing system, the stepladder. Safely design your climb in any tree with the most versatile, lightweight, and compact climbing system, the stepladder. To book your own dream hunt in northern Saskatchewan, contact us at Canadian Whitetail Outfitters. Canadian Whitetail is also brought to you by these fine sponsors. Stay up to date with Dean and the team by following us on Instagram, liking us on Facebook, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. For Canadian Whitetail gear and apparel, information, and newsletters, visit CanadianWhitetailTV.com. For past episodes and never seen content, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or search for us wherever you stream.